Hi everyone, this video is for uh, people who are either unfamiliar with Moodle or haven't used it in a long time. And I would just like to run through the course and how things are going to look. So this top section here will, will change, maybe not quite every module, but most of the time. Um, I'll put some fresh content up here, but right now it's just the first thing you see, it's sort of the landing page. There will be a forum for questions, and while you're in a course like this, you can't walk up to me after class. But you can do a lot of things. You can give me a call on my cell phone. You can text me. You can post to the Have a Question forum. Uh, you can send me an email. The Have a Question forum is preferable because if you have a question, chances are other people will as well. So to post, just click the forum and add a new discussion topic and come up with a subject. Um, toss out a plea for help, and type your question. And go ahead and post it to the forum. Now before I do, I just want to say something. If you don't see all these little icons here, um, the little emoticons, oh those are fun, let's use one of those. Hmm. There you go. If you don't see those things and uh, bold and highlight and all that stuff, then chances are you're not using a good browser. Moodle works great with Chrome, which is what I use. I think Safari. It doesn't work so well with Firefox and a few others. So if you're not seeing all these things when you go to post something, then you got the wrong browser. Anyway, let me just go ahead and post my question. And now, let's go backward. If you see the Have a Question forum, when you log on next time and you click on, you'll see, oh, that someone had a question. And you might click, click that. You might say, oh my gosh, I have the same question. Or maybe you have a solution. And you might hit reply if you know the answer. and post a forum and there you go so now we've solved this person's little problem so that's the have a question forum I will post periodically in the news forum and you'll get this by email so you'll see it here I don't think there's anything here yet but uh, big announcements I have or things like that I'll post there um, sometimes you'll see things like well the syllabus and you can just open that up and run right through it here. You can also download that. And you know, instead of using the back arrow key, I'm going off screen to do that, I'm going to show you this area. This is called the breadcrumb trail. And you can open up a whole bunch of links. And to get back to the course, just simply go right here and click. And you're right back on the landing page again. Very, very easy. Um, this section up here is a bit of a navigation window and here's a great link it's called the participants tab if you just click that you will see the other people who are in the class and you can click their name and read all about them this is Ambers from Deer Isle Stonington Elementary School what a great little town and you can send her a message just click that and go ahead type your message like hi Allison I think I just sent her one, or I'm sorry, Amber. Um, I just sent her a quick message. We're both online here. It's Saturday night. No one has anything to do except play with Moodle. So there you go. Um, one of the best things I would like you all to do as you're starting is to find your own name and edit your profile. So you'll be able to do that just by going right down here and view profile you see that and you can edit right here so I'm sorry I'm pointing with my finger I need to use my mouse you can edit your profile right here and you can describe yourself you can add a photo you can change your photo anything you want to in this section okay 
that's really key because it is really important to be able to talk with people in a course like this and to be able to actually know who you're talking to. So pop a photo up there, see, them, see who else is there. Uh, there's a blog menu and you may use this blog sometimes. We probably will use some other things as well. But if you go to post a blog entry, just simply add an entry about this course and we can see it within the course itself. You might find you're getting a message and you'll see it in this little message window and I will probably move this a little higher so that when you come to the page you might see message one or two and it'll probably say who it's from. You can also see who's online and if you feel adventurous you can make a comment about something you see in a course and you can go ahead and save that and that will actually appear. You can also, if you want to, delete your comment. So here's the first module and while this will work in weeks, um, you know the work we're doing is actually like bigger than a typical week so I will try to have multiple modules open so some people can work ahead, others you know may just be working at a slower pace but that's fine. Sometimes there will be a video at the top, sometimes another link wherever um, wherever they are if you just go ahead and start with the start here tab and this is really the lineup for the week or the module here's everything we'll be doing some of the links are in here and I try to keep things pretty organized some of the links that you need are here so I might refer to something like read starving the future and there's the link here here's the link here but you'll see these other topics are linked down here. Okay, the links are all posted here. And discussions for the module, if there are any that week, are posted right here. So here's a discussion. This is the topic I came up with. Uh, I'm probably going to change this before we actually open the course, but go ahead and read the topic and then add a new discussion topic. You need a subject. and something to write and go right ahead and post. Now I just cut and pasted that stuff in there. But let's say you did your writing ahead of time. Let's say you opened up a Word document and decided to write there. If you go ahead and paste it in here, when you publish it it's going to look really funny. It's going to have all kinds of bad code and it'll be really weirdly spaced. So just click this little W, Paste from Word tab, and paste it right in here and now insert and it will actually strip out all the hidden code that is in Word. There's another little tab for uh, plain text. Um, I tend to write my things on text edit or notepad. Text edit looks like this. It's just a very plain editor um, but it doesn't give me all that crazy formatting issues. So once you are ready to go, go ahead and post to forum. You can take a look at it and you can say, gee, I actually said just what I wanted to, or I didn't say what I wanted to at all, and you can go ahead and edit that. Or you can delete your own thing. Let's go back. We'll use the breadcrumb trail to this forum. Once you see these, if you want to comment on what someone said, just click the topic. Read it. Say, T, I think I would like to say something about this. And go ahead and post right there. Okay? Pretty simple. Um, that is Moodle in a nutshell. And that's sort of all you really need to know about this. If you open a link and it doesn't work, or you go to play something and it doesn't play, please, by all means, drop me a line and let me know. Um, I try to keep things running very smoothly, but that can happen. So I hope this was helpful and any questions feel